We're continuing our segment on Dignity You Wear with Nicole Bros. This is such a great nonprofit helping so many people. And one of the key men behind the Jacksonville Connection is a man by the name of Henry Lanworth. What an amazing man he is. Tell us a little bit about Henry and how he started this entire project. Here he is holding up his undies. <laughs> now, this is actually an undie campaign yes. that he is promoting to everybody yeah. because this is one of the things when we talk about dignity you wear we want clean clothes we want you know the basics the necessities yes. and even the personal things right yes. and we have our um, undie campaign it's an annual campaign that starts march 1st through april and henry landworth um, is quite remarkable mm -hmm. he um, came from um, really losing everything he was a holocaust survivor um, he will turn um, 90 um, this year mm -hmm. he um, he lost his parents in the Holocaust, and then he immigrated to the U.S., became a, um, a war veteran after that. Um, kind of interesting, he got a letter from the um, president when he came to the U.S., and he thought it was a welcome letter, and it was a draft letter. Oh, wow. So kind of a interesting. Um, he's had a remarkable life, became a business entrepreneur, and um, started Dignity You Wear. Um, he went to um, Soulsbacher, um, our homeless shelter here in town, right. in 2000, walked in and was like, how can I help? How can I help? It touched um, him. It and, moved him. And someone said, sir, have, do you know what it's like to not have any underwear? And he's like, I do know. I have been homeless. Um, he was homeless and alone with the, and losing his parents. So he ran out to a store and bought all the underwear he could find and brought it back to, this, to the shelter. And um, Dignity You Wear started um, shortly after that. Um, so we've been around since 2000, and we have Henry Landworth to thank. Um, he helped launch it and worked there for many years. Um, and now he um, lets us take it and raise the support and, and, um, and help the, the folks. But um, he also started Give Kids the World in Orlando, which is a place where kids go for a week um, who are terminally ill to have a free vacation and, and experience the laughter of. Um, so our, um, our annual undie campaign, um, started back when he was running things and it um, again it's a two-month time period where we're asking everyone in Northeast Florida and beyond to form a team whether it's your church your synagogue your um, just a school group your business your friends in the neighborhood sure. um, raise um, collect underwear and socks okay. and then um, and register with us so we can let folks know you're maybe a drop-off site collect meaning Go buy them new. New, brand new. <laughs> or, Go buy them new, right. Yes, or raise, um, or raise much needed funds. So you can, um, you can do that. And we, um, on our website at DignityU, the letter U, wear.org, um, you can go right to the website and get all the forms and, and register your team. I think it's fantastic. And, and moving forward, Nicole, you know, what is the goal? Um, because I think this is important. I know you have, this is called Drop Your Drawers. And you know, I don't know if you guys can see it at home, um, but it's it's to join other businesses, and yep. so this is what it, it really is all boiling down to, right? Yes. So yeah. we'll collect all the underwear and socks, and we do get them from um, leading manufacturers in the country as well as we do um, other types of clothing. This is actually the um, Early Learning Coalition, and okay. they're an agency partner, yeah. and so we um, supply them with quite a few clothing for um, for kids. Um, from um, birth to pre-K. And um, again, we have a lot of agency partners on our website. If you're interested in knowing who they are, you can go right to agency partners or even apparel partners and find out who are the wonderful companies giving us clothing as well. Uh, everything's on the website. Um, again, this is the um, Early Learning Coalition and um, we love the work that they do. And you know, and our agency partners work so hard. And so again, we just want to make it a little bit easier for them to support their clientele. This is the um, city rescue mission. So this we, looks like a lot of, of, of is all, of, of, when I'm looking at this, is this all of the clothes? That, uh, that well, you, so ours different? would be the new, and it mixed in here, there might be some gently used items. Okay. So, um, because we obviously don't You're have. Partnering. You're right, partnering. Right, right. With other nonprofits. We, um, yes, and if the, again, the more support, the more we can supply with to everyone. But okay. we obviously don't have just unlimited number of clothes. Um, but we do have, um, at any given time, an entire warehouse filled with amazing items for again. Our focus area would be the children, homeless, families in crisis, and veterans. Okay, so your, your warehouse is located um, downtown on Myrtle Street. I yes. want to know, where do people go if they're watching today, they want to be able to participate? I mean, not, not just form a group and, and donate, but maybe they are actually in need themselves. 
where they should would, they go? They would, and that's a, an excellent question because we do not have people um, in need coming to us. We're the warehouse. We okay. only give the close to our nonprofit agency partners. So in order to be served, You're sort of the collection center, right? If you will. So if you, okay. so they need to make sure they're. And there's so many wonderful nonprofits in Northeast Florida and beyond. So they. Folks who need help, um, and we do, we, we actually are a reference center, so if you call and you're in need, we will say, oh, so try this agency down the street, or wh where do you live? Try this one in Orange okay, Park. So, so we do try watching, to match people. They, want, they could call the number right there on your screen. The, so, and then from there, you can give them directions on where they may need to go or what is close by them in their area. Yes, we, okay. um, and we don't have a lot of manpower to do a lot. So basically people need to just know the resources in your community. And in ja in, um, actually in Jacksonville in Northeast Florida, we serve um, um, close to 70 agency partners. So there are a lot of folks doing wonderful work. And again, we don't we don't distribute clothing to individuals. We do it to the to agency. The groups, to the agencies, right. and then the agencies pass it out. Right, and we, um, we um, a year we're serving close to 200,000 people and giving um, millions of units of items to agencies. So to date, we've served um, over one million people, mm -hmm. and we've given out literally. Um, you know, millions and millions, um, close to 50 million units of actual items. So it's pretty substantial. Sure. Um, we work hard, and again, we have a small team, but we do a lot, and we really do it all for the nonprofits. Do you take donations? So let's say maybe somebody is not able to maybe go collect the items, or if they want to help you guys out if they're watching at home. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. So they, how can they participate if they? Don't want to go to the manpower of doing it, but they would. Can they? Can they give you a check? Can they yes. make a donation? Um, so several ways to help on the website explains all of them from even leaving us in a will. But you can um, donate uh, right on our website, okay. and and we're a five hundred one c three, and we send the letter, and we keep you. Um, we actually so it's tax deductible. Yes, then. Okay, we actually so keep you um, really um, in tune with our agency partners. We always do a spotlight, and so you really get to kind of know about what everyone's doing. Um, you can um, sponsor us if you're a business. We have um, that's events. That's cool. Yes. A business can actually sponsor. You can sponsor us. Okay. We do a couple events a year. Um, you can um, come and take tour of our facility. Um, of course, volunteer if you would like. Yeah. Um, do, um, have a team during the Undie campaign or year-round collect items like underwear sure. or you know kids jeans or um, there's a lot of ways to be involved and um, yeah so we're we're really proud of um, the community and, and what we can do uh, well, well we're actually proud of you and I'm, I'm glad that you came on today and to share that message because it certainly um, I'm you know has a streamlined audience that it that it would apply to so we're, we're glad to pass that thank along you. thank you thanks so for much. having us Nicole, for coming in. you betcha Coming up next, 904thin.com, we're going to take a close look at the Nutrimost program and how you can benefit from it. Plus, this Friday, get ready for the River City Music Festival. Artists like Keith Sweat and many others like JoJo will be on stage. If you'd like more information, you can head to jacksevents.com.